And I always knew in the back of my mind I could be something special. But I knew the work it was going to take was going to kill me. I was afraid of that. I was afraid of the brutality and the suffering I was going to have to endure. But I knew, I knew I could do something. But I'm like, I ain't trying to do that kind of work, man. What would you accomplish if you weren't afraid of doing the work? You will sell yourself tremendously short in life if you go through life afraid of the work. We can't do great things and become great things if we are terrified of the work. True champions in life, they embrace the work. They embrace the process. They like the sweat. They like the blood. They like the tears. You guys have to clear all these pussy ass thoughts out of your mind about yourself, about your life, about what it is you want to accomplish. Good shit takes work. We do not live forever. We don't have unlimited time to do all these great things. And guess what? No, you're not going to do it tomorrow. So why are you not doing it? It's because you're too big of a pussy to embrace the fucking work. Success is hard. Good things are hard. But you know what else is fucking hard? Being the guy who could have been. Living with regret. Those things are hard as fuck. If you do the fucking work, you will produce the result. Now, will you produce the result in a day? No. Will you produce the result in a week? No, you won't. But so many of you, because society jams the idea of luck, of circumstances, of fucking fairy tale stories down your throat, you still believe that it's luck. It doesn't work that way. And you can either choose to go on with your life, buying that story, or you could choose to embrace the fucking work right here, right now, and move down the path, take your beatings, get better from them, and become what it is that you are supposed to become. This is the world that is in front of me. And what most people do is they see this world and they look at it as an excuse to get out of it. I started looking at it as this is the ultimate training ground for the rest of my life. Weak people who hear me get all fucking poopy pants about how I talk. So be it. What changed me was I had to be hard on myself. And I have to continue to grind myself into a fine dust. Period. That's where I feel good. I feel like I accomplished something. If things come easy, it's not fun. I must fail at something repeatedly. It has to haunt me. And then once I complete it, I feel like I accomplished something. It isn't one thing, and it isn't 10 things, and it isn't 100 things. It isn't a quick path, and there are no shortcuts. Getting better isn't a hack or a trick or a one change that you need to make. Getting better is a campaign. It's a daily, a weekly, it's an hourly fight. It's a campaign of hard work and dedication. It's waking up early and going to bed late and grinding out every second in between. Every single day. You want to self-improve? Stop looking for a shortcut. And go find your alarm clock. And find your discipline. And find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a miracle. 
What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? I believe that most human beings are only living at about 40% of their capability. This is the time where you have to gain control back of your mind. It's okay. Let me see if I can go 45%. And once you start giving yourself more and more hope and start realizing, okay, the mind starts to be, okay, what, what are you doing? We're supposed to be going right and you're going left. You start then controlling your mind. Start finding more in, you know, in yourself. And it goes from 40% to a lot further than that. It all comes down to one concept, guys. It comes down to doing the fucking work. Nothing in life that's worthwhile is easy. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing in life that's going to pay off big is going to be simple. Nothing in life that is going to, to, to change your life and make it this thing that you want is going to be quick. It won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges, these challenges that you face, they're going to do their best to take you down. Do not let them stand up, dig in. Lock. up those problems and confront them face them fight them do not let them bring you down let those challenges raise you up let them elevate you so in the future you look back at these struggles and you say to them You made me better. Oh, you know, I don't know why I'm not getting that result yet. Oh, you know, I don't know why I'm not there yet. Oh, I don't know. You know, I'm working on it. Bullshit. You know exactly why you're not there. All of us have the tendency to choose the easy path as opposed to the one that we know... is going to be fucking hard it's our nature it's the path of least resistance but guys the path of least resistance is the one we take because we're afraid of the fucking work and the problem with that is this that's the path everybody takes when everybody takes the path of least resistance there's no fruit at the end of it it's a stone cold ironclad fact that the greatest reward lies along the path of most resistance. 
It's a situation of what you are willing to put yourself through to find the result that you're looking for. What are you willing to go through? What journey are you willing to endure? Because the people who are willing to endure the most fucking pain are the ones who are gonna produce the best possible results. When I was 297 pounds and I was fat as hell trying to be a Navy SEAL, the scariest thing in the world to me even to this day was that that could have been the rest of my life. I thought then I was trying hard. I thought that was me at my 100% potential. Come to find out, a few years later, 106 pounds less, graduate Navy SEAL training, went on to do all these other things. Looking back on that, that was me trying hard. What is in us, we have no idea until we start trying hard. <laughs>